In other news this evening, a homeless man is attacked in downtown Asheville, beaten in the head. Police have arrested six suspects and are looking for two more. News 13's Kimberly King is live for us downtown. Kim, this attack happened in front of the French Broad Co-op on Biltmore Avenue. That's right, Larry. Now, this man has been homeless, he tells me, since July. He was sleeping on a bench just down the street from behind me when he says multiple suspects, some of them teenagers, came up to him and became the middle of a dare between all of them, taunting each other to go after him. I was just like, it's not happening. Bloody, cut and bruised, it seems victim Daniel Amos Johnson is still in a bit of shock. The 30-year-old is homeless, attacked, investigators say, by these teens now under arrest. Another two police say are still at large. Daniel sleeping on a bench last night when he heard the suspects break a bar glass. I was just like, don't do that. Don't, don't break a glass on the road right there. And they're like, you don't know who you're talking to. His comment was enough, he says, to incite the attack. One of them went up around behind me and grabbed a flower pot and smash me in the face with it. This is the broken pot at the French Broad Co-op where investigators say it happened. I was looking at them right across the street from the Aloft Hotel when the ambulance showed up. Police arrested the suspects outside this restaurant on Lexington just blocks away. The suspects face multiple charges from resisting arrest to causing serious injury. I really wasn't intimidated. And that's what bugged them. Being homeless, we asked Daniel where he'll go tonight. I'm not sure. I think I have uh, I have uh, friends that will take me. But we weren't sure he really does have a place to stay. But Daniel feels proud he spoke up to teens he feels were doing wrong. One of the suspects, Daniel says, had blood on his pants. Police believe that could be linked to the attacker. Daniel has allowed police to get his medical records and swab. So that they could have DNA evidence yeah. of my blood. Homeless and hurting, Daniel tonight, like many nights, isn't sure where he'll end up. The suspects, some of them are also charged tonight with a vandalizing a brass door at Bouchon, uh, outside the restaurant where they were arrested on Lexington last night. Meanwhile, we spoke with Daniel just about an hour ago, and also we reached out to Evelyn Charities. They were able to help him and get him into a shelter and a safe place to sleep tonight. Reporting live downtown, Kimberly King, News 13.